welcome to chemistry lover after a long time so uh, here I have a question for you and this is quite interesting so this question is actually from jam 2018 and as the question looks quite simple but you will see that uh, it is not that simple and there is a twist so uh, looking at the substrates uh, given here you can easily say that it is a case of uh, benzene uh, benzene reaction right so this uh, chlorine substitution at benzene ring and the presence of so uh, sodamide nnh2 which will give you nh2 minus you can easily say that this will lead to uh, benzene reaction and from the benzene intermediate you will get a product so uh, in that way you may guess that either this or this will be the product now depending on the stability of the uh, anion either of these two you can get but is it so simple let us see so uh, let me draw it first okay yeah so the question is given this one so this is our substrate we have the chlorine substitution over here and here we have CN and now we have NH2 I am not writing down the liquid ammonia or all these things so because this is our working uh, reagent now what will happen from here so normally in case of benzene reaction what happens it will take proton from here from this place so that will basically give you minus charge over here so this is nothing but u1cb elimination you know and from there the elimination of the halogen takes place so that will give you this benzene intermediate right yeah so this will give you this benzene intermediate and now uh, this nh2 can attack either this place or on this place and depending on that you can get these two products either you can get NH2 group over here or you can get the NH2 group over here I am not writing down the whole group here I just put R so these two can be the products but um, then Mm, you can say that if the reaction takes place over this place uh, the negative charge will go here and so this would be the more stable uh, anion right so in that way this could be the correct answer but is it so simple actually not so what can happen here what else can happen here let us see so uh, if I draw it again the initial substrate if I draw it again you will see that this is our substrate we have the chlorine group over here now uh, as we know the benzene reaction we are thinking that this NH2 minus will take proton from here but what is the actual nature of this NH2 minus it is basically a base right so it can take proton from any acidic center and if a center which is more acidic than this particular center is present in the molecule this NH2 group will uh, NH2 minus will preferably take proton from that center now if I write down the if I write down the CN group so this is our CN group and if you look here we have proton right so this proton is much more acidic this proton is much more acidic than this proton and that's why this NH2 minus will actually take proton from here first so this will give you uh, this particular thing so you have this and then this and then you will get first 
now there there are plenty of this nh2 minus not only one mole there are a lot of nh2 minus so now another another nh2 minus okay so yeah so now another nh2 minus that can take proton from here so if we have another nh2 minus that can take proton here and after two steps by u1cb elimination and all these things you will get benzene right so you will get this benzene so you are getting the benzene but but not immediately right so before benzene formation you have this anion formation right and now from this anion the attack will take place intramolecularly so this is intramolecular attack right so external uh, external thing the external um, actually you have this uh, this one two three four five yeah so you don't need this uh, thing so you have this cn so you don't need the external attack of any other uh, nucleophile like nh2 so normally external nucleophile attacks on this benzene but because this internal group is present this internal nucleophilic site is present so it will attack and after that what will happen after that so uh, yeah so after that basically what you will get is so from here from here the protonation will take place and you will get this as your product so this actually uh, uh, as i remember this is option c i guess so this will be the correct answer right another option was there let us see the possibility of that so another option was there which is this one uh, which is this one why it is not forming uh, it cannot form right because it would it would form if if we have like uh, this kind of thing if we have uh, this kind of thing but this kind of thing cannot be generated in this condition so this will not form so our answer is this one i hope that you enjoyed this um, question and if you have any doubt or any suggestion let me know in the comment section thank you for watching